Hi guys, um, today's video is going to be a long one, it has been the most prep I have ever done for a video, it's taken me ages, I thought this video would be uploading by this time today, um, but it's taken me so long to get everything sorted for this video, um, so I really hope you enjoy it, it's one that I've been asked for and um, that I think is interesting, so hopefully you will too. Today we are finally going through my band t-shirt collection and I hope that I can get this all done in one take because there's a lot to show. Um, it, if you don't you know, particularly like one of the bands I'm showing or you don't want to listen to my whatever it is I'm talking about you can always skip to a band you're more interested in, that's fine, I won't be offended. Um, I am literally showing you every piece of wearable, as in clothing, I guess cause I do have a bit of jewellery, um, of my um, clothing that is to do with a band that I like. Um, so I do have some of the male fronted bands that I like in there, there's a couple of different genres um, and then of course I have all of my symphonic tops so um, we're really getting into things today guys. Um, so um, another thing I will say is I do have a lot of official merchandise and a lot of unofficial merchandise and whilst I love buying the official stuff and supporting the bands and things I've had a lot of times in my life where I've not been able to afford it um, or I've had people buy me things that they thought were official when they weren't which isn't their fault, you know, they tried and I really appreciate it um, I just wear each top with pride because I love what it's representing and I will give that band the money when I can, you know, when I've got money to buy and spend on them I will do it um, so I hope you all understand that when you see something and think that's not legit please don't hate me for it um, also um, one t-shirt that I do own but it's not in this video because it is currently washing um, is a Linkin Park um, I said, did I say Linkin? Lincoln Park t-shirt um, from the Meteora album um, with long sleeves and it's got like the Linkin Park logo on the front and it says Meteora on the back um, and I also had the hybrid theory version of the top when I was younger and um, it was the most holy thing in the world so sadly that, that's gone um, but they're the only two like band t-shirts that I can think of that you're not going to see in this video um, and I also have a holographic principle Epica t-shirt on the pre-orders so um, when I review the album hopefully I'll have a t-shirt to show you two then um, I hope you can wait for that guys because I don't think I could wait any longer to make this video um, and now to the tops so the first one is the only non-rock metal alternative in any sort of way top that I have this is a pop top and it's the only one I've got you've seen it before in, in if you've watched all my videos but I'm adding it to my collection because it's someone I love and that is my five t-shirt I actually wore this to a rock night um, and the DJ who um, I love to death he's one of my closest friends um, played five and then put it and then like halfway through the song went into so what by Metallica um, which everyone found really funny um, yeah, I don't care. I love five. I always have done. This is from when I saw them during the big reunion tour. Um, so it's a precious memory. I finally got to see five. Even if it wasn't the full lineup, I begged and begged my parents back in the day to take me, and it never happened. So you know, they're dear to my heart. I love five. I will wear that top with pride. I don't care. Moving on. Right, we're gonna go through my men first because um, I feel like there's not as many anyway, and it's the ones that are probably going to get the least amount of interest, so let's get them over and done with. Um, so the first band, um, if you... I always say um all the time and I'm noticing it more and more when I film. The first band that I was really into um, in the pop punk genre was Good Charlotte. I had a huge Good Charlotte fandom, so I still have the tops that I had at the time. So this is the first one I've got. Um, it doesn't have anything on the back. Uh, if I, I think that my dad I want to say bought me this and it's just a simple picture of the band and it says Good Charlotte on it and I've had it a long time and I know my dad definitely bought me this one. <laughs> my dad seemed to be like, he, my, a lot of these will be probably around him because he seems to have an eye for finding really cheap band merchandise whether it's legit or not and um, so thanks dad. <laughs> so this is my next Good Charlotte t-shirt it's a very like punk style one this is quite a, a back in the day good charlotte t-shirt um so that's from their uk one of their uk tours um is it from the tour i went to i don't think it is no but my dad found that um really cheap 
can't remember where exactly but you found it so thanks dad <laughs> and then this one is from the one time that I saw them and I bought a top because I loved them obviously and I finally had a chance to buy my own official Good Charlotte t-shirt so that is this one very faded but it wasn't exactly the brightest to start off with it doesn't have anything on the back or anything and uh, that was from their Good Morning Revival tour which was the only time I saw them um, because I think I was 16 when that album came out so I was finally like old enough to go to concerts with my friends like without my parents and things um so yeah the next band I oh no I've lied I've got something else to do with Good Charlotte here um I included this even though it's not technically a band t-shirt but the um keyboardist and guitar player Billy Martin had his own clothing line called Level 27 and my friend Alex bought me one of the tops from the line so thank you very much. Billy was my favourite member, I loved him, I had a huge crush on him so I really appreciated that top at the time, it's great. Right, now we're moving on to Korn which um, is uh, my favourite male fronted band currently, I'm a bit obsessed with them. I have been trying to get more and more into their newer music because I kind of went off them when they did the whole dubstep thing and I've just kind of been listening to the same era of Khan, so yeah <laughs> moving on from that this t-shirt and um, it's the first one I have and it's from um, the free album and um, so it's a newer one and my dad found that one as well for me thank you dad this one I bought myself online when I was going to go see Khan. I didn't actually have any merchandise for them and I really wanted to go in something that was con so I found this t-shirt online I found the design really cool and decided this is the one I'm gonna wear this to see them and I saw them in the dub metal days so uh, I was probably an odd one out in that crowd but never mind I went for the classics and I loved the classics right so that is all of my men done <laughs> now we're on to all the women so um, I have also included my hoodies, I only have two to show so it's not like a huge thing. So um, oh, I haven't even fastened this one up because I'm an idiot. And so I've just got a huge open hoodie, sorry, prepared. And you've seen this one in one of my, least, in my recent videos um, in my new home tour. And that is the absolutely stunning online exclusive Nightwish Ocean Soul hoodie. I love this and my boyfriend bought me this for Christmas, the last Christmas. Um, thank you so much because it's beautiful, it makes my life. On the back it just says Ocean Soul in the little circle. I adore it and um, it's you know something that's official and I don't have a lot of Nightwish so the fact that I've got a hoodie I can always wear it with another band and I'll always have a bit of Nightwish with me. And my only Nightwish t-shirt was one that um, my friend found for me and decided to just give me, and give me, just randomly, out of nowhere. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I believe it, should, it was my friend Lauren. <laughs> um, the problem with, with, the, with this friend thing is there's a huge family where I'm friends with like every single member of that family and it was someone in that family. Um, anyways, so this is my Nightwish t-shirt. You've probably seen, you've probably seen all these tops in some part at least on my channel, but it's just got the girl on the front and then it has some writing on the back. Um, in frozen tears lies the warm memories. Um, lies warm memories. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what era of Nightwish that is, but at least it doesn't have like a next face over it or something or that horrible um tarrier face one. Oh, yeah the next band we're going to talk about is lacuna coil um and this one my dad bought me when he went to see lacuna coil with me uh, i got tickets for a birthday and no one could go with me and my dad is he's a punk so he's kind of into alternative stuff anyway and he had heard one or two lacuna coil songs and he's like yeah they're quite good i'll go with you um so he bought me the shallow life vest and I love this vest, it's beautiful. I just love the sparkly crown. And uh, this is probably the most pink thing I own. <laughs> so yes, I love this vest. Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate it. Um, and my dad, again, got me this Lacuna Coil t-shirt. This one he found when he was out shopping. Um, I don't know where this... I don't know where my dad goes and finds these things, but 
it's pretty cool. So he found me this one, which is again Lacuna Coil, and he was just like, I had to buy you it, it was super cheap, I know how much you love them. And on the back it's got a list of tour dates. Um, I think that I actually, yes, it's from the Survive Tour, I did go to the Survive Tour, um, I went to the Leeds show, yep, Leeds is on there, which is where I got my Shallow Life vest. So the fact that he found another t-shirt from that gig is pretty awesome and I really appreciate it. This next one is from the first time I ever saw Lacuna Coil, the time that I met Andrea Ferro, which just set me off on high fangirl craziness. The first time I probably made a fool of myself in front of a celebrity. And that is this absolutely stunning school design one. I really like this. is probably my, my favourite Lacuna Coil t-shirt I own just because of how beautiful that design is. And this was from um, the first tour they did for Shallow Life. I've only ever seen them during the show. I saw them three times in the time that they were supporting the Shallow Life album. And I've never seen them any other time. Which is weird. But I loved every moment of those concerts. So, you know, it's all good. Next we have Within Temptation. And um, I have three t-shirts for them. This one is from their theatre tour. I did not go to their theatre tour, but as you can probably guess what I'm about to say, my dad found this for ridiculously cheap somewhere in his shopping and um, decided to get me it for decided to get it for me. And um, this is the back. It's got all the things. I really wanted to go to the theatre tour, um, but sadly, at the time that they did it, they didn't do anywhere that was particularly close to me and I was very poor, if I remember correctly, and I couldn't afford to travel and buy the tickets, so um, sadly I didn't go. This is from a time I actually did see Within Temptation. This is um, fake. I <laughs> was really poor again when I saw them, but I had the tickets um, and I had my travel, so I was okay for that, but I didn't have any money to take to the gig, so I ended up getting a dodgy t-shirt outside because it was ridiculously cheap but who cares I love them and that is this one with a, another pink logo this is apparently where my pink is but it's pink on the front and then purple on the back in the tiny little bit of writing it had I went to the Manchester show and that was for the Unforgiving album and then I have a nice official one which is from the next time that I saw of Temptation. so this is from their Hydra tour so I have this one and um, it says let us burn on the back with a few dates even though it doesn't have the date I went to because it only has download from the United Kingdom this was an official t-shirt for the tour that I saw them well you know who cares it's beautiful <laughs> the flames are gorgeous right on to the next pile I have and we're going with Epica next you all know Epica is my favourite band in the world, but Epica are only a recent addition into my fangirl life. Um, I really got into them during their Requiem for the Indifferent tour, which was the first time I ever saw them, and I only had like one album when I went to see them during that time. And then when they released The Quantum Enigma, that is when I just went on this Epica crazy fandom. That was it. So I don't have a lot of Epica to show you guys but I do have some lovely Epica things to show you guys so um this one I have is a retrospect 10th anniversary t-shirt my sister bought me this for Christmas from the official Epica website and I am ever so grateful it's beautiful I that was the first Epica t-shirt I ever got and I fell in love with it instantly this one you have seen if you've watched my channel a lot because um, it's in quite a few of my big videos. I wore this t-shirt when I met Epica and that is another retrospect t-shirt. My friend Sophie bought me this. Um, was it for Christmas or my birthday? I think it was a Christmas and this is my favourite Epica t-shirt. It's gorgeous. Thank you Sophie so much. That girl knows how to treat me. <laughs> and um, that is also my friend that I took to see Nightwish for her birthday. So you know we've got a beautiful fangirl friendship going on and finally is my most recent Epica t-shirt and that is this one here I think it was called the Quantum Molecule t-shirt and I ordered this for myself I had to have it I just saw the design and fell in love 
and um, I wore that to see it Epica when they did their one-off show in London last time, last tour around. I am going to their one-off show in London this tour and I cannot wait. Um, got a while to go though, it's February. Now, finally, the big one. I am known for being that Evanescence girl and you will understand why <laughs> when you see how many t-shirts I have of Evanescence and from the age of like 11 I'm gonna say till about 21, 22 they were my favourite band I was obsessed the, to the levels I'm obsessed with Epica now I was obsessed with Evanescence they have done no wrong <laughs> they can do no wrong they've done no wrong Amy Lee is just life she is wonderful she's one of the greatest songwriters ever I don't care what you think if you think that all their songs sound the same and they're just depressing, it's because you've only listened to Fallen, listen to their later albums. <laughs> so, the other hoodie that I was speaking of is this uh, absolute gem. This is my Evanescence hoodie. It is fake. The real one of this was, um, I think it was like £80. Pounds. Um, so I went outside and bought the fake one to the gig I went to. You might be thinking, Vicky, this takes up the whole shot. Yes, I asked for a medium and they gave me an extra large. <laughs> but at the time I was just running off to get a train so I just kind of picked it out of his hands and walked away without really thinking. It's got Evanescence on the back and all the tour dates. So yeah, this is absolutely huge. This drowns me. So it has kind of become my dressing gown. But what a beautiful dressing gown to have. Now onto all my Evanescence t-shirts. So the first one I have... Um, my auntie bought me a long long time ago I think it was for a Christmas could have been a birthday my birthday is in the winter time after all and that is this one this is a Fallen album era t-shirt so that is how old this is and it's just simple it's got nothing on the back but yeah I really like this and I like to wear this top in particular with a dress that I have that's kind of like a dungaree dress it's got so you can kind of see the top that you've got underneath and so I kind of make myself wear an Evanescence dress. I love it. Uh, this one, the next one, was bought to me by one of my sisters. It was my birthday and I asked my sister, one of my sisters to buy me one design and one of my sisters to buy me the other design. So this is one of the designs that I ended up with. And that is this one. That I really used to know all the names. One's called, there's one like called Glow and there's one like called like essence or something they all had like one word things one's called one um yeah so this is one of those one worded t-shirts this is from the evanescence era of evanescence and that is my favorite time for merchandise you will you will see shortly there's a lot in there um this one is my most recent addition to my evanescence collection and this was bought for me by my boyfriend last christmas the same time i got the nightwish hoodie those were my gifts from him and that is this lovely vest with this beautiful green. Evanescence just know how to make that E so beautiful. Like all my tops, all my Evanescence tops are quite similar. The E looking stunning around something and I love it. It's just... Evanescence are the masters of merchandise in my eyes. Um, I wish that Epica would kind of take a bit more of their kind of stance on it. Like instead of having on all the ones with like someone's face like... <laughs> even though there is Amy ones out there like that um, this is the glow one I think this one's my glow in the dark one um, which again I believe one of my sisters bought me this and um, again beautiful stunning they are the best merchandise oh, my, tea, my pile's getting a bit wonky over here <laughs> I'm gonna have a t-shirt based disaster I think this one's called moth and <sighs> Basically all the newer Ev t-shirts that I have from the Evanescence era I have even been bought for a birthday, a Christmas by a friend or a family member Some of them I remember better than others but this one is lovely again Stunning <laughs> I just, I, They just have the best merchandise This one <laughs> When I said they have the best merchandise they do, but this one is going to make you laugh. Um, this is my oldest Evanescence piece of merchandise. This is from the first time that I saw them in concert and I ended up getting a t-shirt that was not quite legit. So yes, we can't blame Evanescence for it. 
This is the front that says Evanescence Fallen on it. I have worn it so much that it's just random white markings where the writing used to be. Are you ready for the back? <laughs> this is the picture of the band. <laughs> I saw them in Sheffield and um, yeah this this is a lovely picture of Evanescence. I wore this t-shirt every day at one point. Every single day I would wear this. My mum would be like sneaking it off to wash it because I'd just be wearing it so much it makes me sound so disgusting. I was clean don't worry but um, this was like the t-shirt like my mum would have just put it literally straight back in my drawer I'd be coming straight back out again and I'd be wearing it. That top. It's got so many memories and it's disgraceful. I, I, I won't let go of it. I just even though I got rid of my Linkin Park one with holes in I am not getting rid of that Evanescence one where you can't even see what it is anymore. <laughs> Uh, this is a very old one as well. This is my first official Evanescence t-shirt from the Fallen Era and it's just a standard E with Evanescence written inside it. Very loved and always will be one of my favourites. Ah, this is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Um, so this next one, my a family member bought me one and my friend bought me the other and I have it in two sizes the same t-shirt so I have it in a medium and I have it in a large and that's the only way that I know which one was bought for me by Sophie and which one was bought for me by my family member because Sophie bought me a medium um, because she's very kind I need a large well I can I, I can fit in this but it's not comf it's not as comfortable if you know what I mean like I don't look like I'm a really mess or anything in this it's it is just the right fit, it's just a very tight, snug fit, whereas I prefer a bit more of a baggier look. So that is this t-shirt, it's very beautiful. I'm ha I'll happily wear both, because, you know, why not? And then I have this one as well, which is the large one, it's exactly the same top. But, they're both well loved, well worn. They're both happily staying in my collection. This next one is another gem that my dad found on his random travels. Uh, this is my only open door era Evanescence t-shirt. Uh, that that was a bad time for me in my fandom. The gig I was meant to go to got cancelled. I didn't get any merchandise as gifts or anything that year. And um, then my dad randomly just found this. So this is my only like piece from the open door times. Here we go. It's lovely. It's got like an angel design on it. Um, you will notice that most of the official Evanescence merchandise doesn't have anything on the back which is fine with me because the front is beautiful enough it doesn't need anything else. And then finally, is this finally? <laughs> we've, we've been here a while. Finally I have uh, this top and I have it in again two sizes and I think it was Sophie again. So someone in my family bought me one and someone and then Sophie bought me the other one so I have this lovely t-shirt here and I've got it in a small and a medium and I can't remember which way exactly they got I think the medium again was Sophie I think she just thinks I'm medium all around and then someone bought me this in a small but it's quite a big t-shirt so it's fine in a small I think it's a men's one this one and I think that's why it's fine in a small and then again I have it in a medium so yes that is all my band t-shirts other than one that's in the wash. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that this was fun for you. It was a lot of effort for me. <laughs> I can't believe how long it took me to find them all and to get them all sorted. And yeah, that was it. I hope this video looks good because I have no idea what I'm filming right now. Thank you if you've managed to make it to the end and I'll see you soon. Bye.